good evening or morning whenever you watch this we've been over this before it is friday you made it i made it further proving that you proved your parents right you were the good sperm who made it they may have questioned you and wondered if it was a good idea but you told them now nah, it's me you were smart your faith in me has been rewarded. Made it to a Friday. Another one. How many Fridays have you been through? How many you got left? I don't know. Probably. I don't know how the math works because I'm not a mathematician. Let's see. There's 52 weeks, 52 Fridays, give or take. I mean, that's how it works, right? Uh, people live 80 years, um, 52 times 80 is 6 million. I got like maybe four, five million Fridays left. Anyway, yeah, we're doing the world map again. I have no idea where this is. This could be Italy. This could be Spain. This could be South America. I'm not seeing anything except a bunch of church Memorabilia, maybe is the right word. Oh, well, this tells me everything I need to know. We're at carne asada, so we are having whatever is, we're having asada meat in Captiva, which was a commercial um, that Microsoft ran for a while in the mid-90s called Captiva, I believe. I could be wrong. It's been a long time. Memory is what it is. I doubt I'm actually going to see Captiva anywhere here. I mean, I did see what I thought might have been Olive Tree, but again, this wouldn't have been the first place I would have thought of. Thankfully, I found that sign. This is very hilly. It's very arid. Hey, I got it. If I never saw that sign, if I never turned around, I would never see his heart breaking. Don't turn around. Because you're going to... Something or other, just walk away. Oh, uh, God. I do have that problem with... Uh, songs. That the second it's playing, I can say all the words. But, you know, put me on the spot and I have to try to say it. It doesn't work. This is like the... It feels like a highway on and off ramp, but they've miniaturized it. It seems real tiny. Is this like on a border? Is that why this sign's here, or is it a construction thing? Um, some with the EU, however, it's it's not saying. Well, now you know how to do any um, Greek to English. It's all solved for you there. You don't need. That's your Rosetta Stone. Is that right there? Can I get... This is probably Citros. Or Chris. Chris lives there. Such a big deal. Man, I would not have pinned this at all as Greek. Without seeing any wording anywhere. That says happy birthday to... External Kamene. Good for you. You're as old as this country. And we've decided that... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> really? Oh, that's hilarious. You know, I was playing the odds. I guess that's turkey. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. You got me. Speaking of you got me. Oh, God. Well, I haven't had one of these in a long time. So this will be a quickie. And remember from last time these happened. Um, and I'm sure when you saw, if you actually look at the minutes on these videos, you're like, wow, this was a fast one. Did you do another daily? No, because whenever they do these one image ones, they tend to either be India or Germany. It seems to be the consensus with these. I've had a few of these now. Um, I'm not going to waste any more time because I can only zoom in so much and I'm not going to see anything here. 
but I'm going to say this is Germany. I'm just going to hit the button. Let's move on. Okay, I was close. We we're next to Schwein fruit. Good old pig fruit. Fast and loose is how we're playing it today. Let's see. Sites available for South Park, huh? You're not doing any uh, potential copyright hinting, are we? So this feels like suburbia, and we're just on the edge of the sprawl, the crawl, whatever you want to call it. But I don't know what this is. Maybe this is Oklahoma? Just uh, initial impressions. Nope, Peace Hospice of Montana. All right, we're getting enough information. This is flat as fuck, so maybe this is Billings. Let's see. Uh, we've got a hospital. I'm cracking my knuckles because I'm getting down to business. Can I see what this says? Orthopedic Center of Montana. Let's see, and I'm just looking for, we're in a hospital of some sort. That isn't obvious. This almost feels like that. No, I'm just, I'm projecting now. I was going to say this looks like that um, hospital that they had in, uh, Oh, it's Benefiz. Is there a Benefiz? This looks like the hospital they have in uh, that 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 uh, Batman movie, but it's not. Benefiz may not actually be this. I'm pretty sure I said on why is the Missouri River over here? This is Montana. I think it's lost. I think on Monday I mentioned what the yeah yeah. I, I chose my album for the week back on Monday, so I don't need to do that. Although, I did finish the book for the month last night. Actually, two nights ago, according to... Um, according to when this is being listened to, or watched, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was a book that I heard, maybe you I may have heard it when I mentioned it. When I first started reading it, called The uh, Indifferent Stars Above. I heard it on the... Last podcast on the left when they it was it's a podcast series about um uh serial killers, true crime, weird fucked up things, a little supernatural stuff. It's just entertaining to listen to. And they did a big one on uh the Donner Party. And if you're not aware of the Donner Party, I'll let you look that up yourself. This was a pretty good book. It was uh set up in a way where he would recant, or not recant, retell some of the story that happened, and every now and then he would sprinkle it in with some uh, scientific information, or like um, maybe they thought that they might have been close to starving, so they went to cannibalism, then he would do, then they would talk about okay, uh, other instances of cannibalism in history, uh, culture things, he, he would just kind of like, I guess, pepper the story with some facts and some like um situational explaining there's better ways of wording this if you haven't noticed i'm bad with words you wonder why i'm actually doing a friggin youtube series but whatever smoothie pits huh nice i don't want to go to any pit and eat smoothies because that's where all the bad stuff collects are in pits but the book was set up in uh okay we're gonna talk for a while then uh break it off in a little paragraphs so we're gonna do a little bit of history taco treat is this like with some ice cream and whatnot that'd be cool get a fucking choco taco that shit's awesome this is the first time i saw that could probably help me oh we're in great falls i th i swear i just saw a great falls thing at the last second Ooh, this is beautiful Wow. Holy shit. Well, we're in Scandinavia, just from the colors and potential fjording. So I want to say, like, we're on the Norway side. That's where I'm at right now. But book's great. If you want to learn about the Donner Party in a well-constructed, a little bit of historical. So if you're not a fan of history class, maybe you'd be a little uh, turned off by it. But I thought it was well done. Pretty well researched. Uh, let's see, this is Fresvik. Ravik. 
Finland, uh, Finland, Norway, if this potentially is, is a very long country. So I could very well, this could be like way the fuck up here. I've got no way of knowing. But I'm, I'm debating whether or not this is so nice looking. This is amazing. I think I might just end up uh, playing it safe and splitting the difference, kind of like what I've done. So if it ends up being all the way up here, I might be safe, but give it a give it a read. Indifferent stars above, highly recommended. Granted, it's only been the one book, and I've my phone's going nuts. Um, debating whether or not I should start my next book because I already have it lined up, or if I should just wait until the month starts, or if I'm just gonna get a little heads up start. Whoa, we're doing that weird zoom thing again. This isn't going to help me, so I'm going to hit home and go the other way. I went that way. I'm going to go this way now. Oh, I did see a sign. Maybe this will help. Fravix, Fresvik Pro Dig. Is there a flag around here? I do not see it. Is there one here? Hmm. This is so nice. This is awesome. I like this. Beautiful. Nice summer. They're just fucking... Look at that view. God, I'm jealous. I want to go here. I don't want to say it's idyllic, but... Jeez, just fucking... Just look at this. This is amazing. I want to see it. I want to climb this shit. It'd be so fun. Get those views up there. Give me a flag somewhere, please. I just, I just need a flag. Uh, you had a flagpole there, but you don't have it right now. There we go. I see a flag. That's the Norwegian colors, at least. Let me get a little closer. Let me get a little closer. Come on, computer. Thank you. And I'm willing to bet this is probably Norway. Ah, oh, that's so nice looking. I don't know if I'm going to find. There's no... This is like... So, like, Norwegian Hamlet that I don't know if I'm going to find it anywhere here. I'll just take a look, but I doubt I'm going to find it. Because it, this feels like it's a super small little town. And I'd have to zoom in quite a bit to actually see it. But I'll let the time run out in case I happen to come across it. You never know. This is so nice. A lot of fjords. Maybe it's up here. I doubt it. There's no way I'm going to see it. And then click on it in time. Just taking a look. You see it, good for you. You got a higher score than I did. I'm just going to make the guess now. So it was closer on my first guess. I'm getting a lot of these like, you got the right country, but you're 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 just off. Oh boy. This is sparsely populated fucking desolation. This could be Midwest or okay, we went backwards. This could be Midwest or fucking somewhere up in Canada. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to look at that real estate sign real quick. This Potentially could be some clue. I doubt it because, yeah, I have no idea if Remax is an America-only real estate company, so I can't base it off that. But I feel, you know, they don't have these constructed in the way they do unless it's near as America. I see the flag now. Unless it's near, that's a dead end, so I will not be going that way. Okay, so right now we're in like here somewhere. I don't know where yet because I am not pulling the trigger. I just trying to get to a road, which is going to be near a town because they don't have these things like these little swaths of suburbia set up anywhere. Unless it's near, like, a town or a city. Get me on this side. There we go. I, it, it's, whoa, okay. We're not going that way. 
We are definitely not going that way. We are going backwards. All right, got to look at some license plates if I can. This is timed perfectly, so I'm not going to be able to. But I have my book set for next month. I'm looking forward to it. I guess this is a short story. I heard it on a... Uh, Oh, God, what was it? This American... No, no, maybe it was a Radio Lab or This American Life about uh, the author Richard Brodigan. And the story is called Trout Fishing in America. And I've heard... Like, this is a thing that maybe I'm planning as far as how these books are going is... Okay, oh. Fucking Wyoming? Huh. Okay. I forget what it's called when they say that you end up. No, this probably isn't one of those things where the job you get is somehow tied to your name, but Dick Laycock? I mean, come on. Or Jim Woods? I mean, really. <laughs> All right, where are you at, Cheyenne? You are the capital. Are we outside? You like here? Because we are out here. I'm only assuming. Well, 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 yep, Cheyenne, Wyoming. All right, so unless this real estate company is based out of Cheyenne and for some reason they're doing their house selling way the fuck out, I feel we've got this general idea where it is. But one of the things I'm hoping to do with this book is at least uh, maybe just kind of be like a, a a tourist when it comes to different authors. Like people are super obsessed or like super into different authors, and I'm not really. And they're like, oh, you a bunch of people really like this author. They teach classes about him in college, other things like that. And I'm like, huh, well, maybe I'll just take a look at it and see what I think of it. And then I'll be like, all right, on my way, I'm going to look at someone else now. Just kind of take the quick little snapshot at the author and be like, okay, I get it. Maybe it's not for me, maybe it is. Well, I fucking nailed that mofo. On Crystal Mountain Road. Good for you. Well, regardless of how bad that one turned out, um, pretty solid way to end the week. Didn't think I was going to get over 20000 but hey, here we are. Awesome. I am very psyched with it. But that's going to do it for this week. Congratulations again, you made it. And once again, thank you all for your continued support, viewing, watching, commenting if you have anything to comment about. Um, yeah, if you got a GeoGuessr playlist you want me to try out, put it in the comments below. Or if you want me to do any other games or any other things, just let me know. Put it in the comments down there. I'll give it a look, give it a thought. But for all of us here, to all of you out there, have a good weekend, at least, or at least try to. Um, and we'll see you all back here bright and early next Monday. Goodbye, folks.